astrologer Wonder Girl taking you to new heights. Here is your daily forecast for the day of Sunday, August 27th, 2017. Now, first of all, how are y'all doing? I feel like it's been a while since I've like been candid because I filmed them all at once last Saturday. So just wanted to say, what's up? <laughs> um, I don't know if you liked it. It did work a lot better for me uh, to make sure that I was consistent and that I got these things out every day. So I really liked doing that and I hope it was okay for y'all too. And then it increased the quality of that as well. Now I've heard a lot of your feedback. You wish that I talked slower. I do too. <laughs> but it's just very hard for me to do that because my mind runs very, very fast and it's just going a mile a minute. <laughs> um, so I'll try to do that um, and I'll see what I can do. I also think part of it is just gonna be based on me getting more comfortable talking to a camera. So just hang in there with me and I'll see what I can do there. Now I'm feeling okay. Th this week I w actually wasn't as bad for me as last week. Last week was a little worse for me emotionally. This week was okay. Today I'm actually feeling pretty good but I still feel like something's missing. There's something not quite right or something missing emotionally for that to click and fall into place. And I feel like I'm coming to a better place with Wonder Girl and with my life, but just not feeling quite right emotionally about things. So I'm hoping that will work itself out. I had like some people here this morning uh, installing like some new high speed internet. So I'm hoping that helps. And then some cable. I've got like the news channels. So I've been watching like the news about the hurricane all day doing that. And then I have had to get some business accounts set up for Wonder Girl, so I was at the bank doing that, and just been a busy day, and now it's what time? It's like almost six o'clock here <laughs> that I'm doing these, so hang in there with me, all right? Now, what is going on today? Well, yesterday, to catch us up, I think we were coming off of, I mean, the beginning of the, the day yesterday was perhaps a little rough. Uh, I'm filming it today, but I'm saying it's yesterday. <laughs> was a little rough on Saturday, okay, because we started out with the moon, what was it, in a square to Venus and a trine to Uranus. So feeling a little bit uncomfortable, wanting to be passionate and put ourselves out there, but being called inward to think about things inwardly, also having to make sense of some unexpected things that were perhaps coming up, uh, bringing us off track, okay? That's for sure what's going on with me today. I wanted to be doing these at 10 a.m. and not 6 p.m., but here I am. So I think it started out a little rough, but I think as we started moving through the day, we started trying to make sense of things, get things more in order, and just feel more comfortable to what is going on. And I think today we're coming off of a lot of that emotional feelings that we had yesterday. The moon is still in Scorpio, so we're still going deep still feeling all the feels, <laughs> uh, still going inward in some way and dealing with some feelings. I think we're trying to get insights with them. I think we're trying to be at peace with all of these feelings that are coming up, okay, and putting them in the right perspective so we can move forward. That's because we do have the moon in Scorpio in a chime with Neptune at the end of yesterday and coming into today, I think being really helpful to just help us be more comfortable with our lives and with where we're going, okay? The moon is also going to sextile Pluto today as well, so I think it's also gonna bring up an opportunity for us to really connect with our power, with, with who we are deep down inside us to better understand some of our feelings that are happening, Okay, the moon is in Scorpio, Pluto rules Scorpio, and, and the moon and Pluto are making a pretty aspect, okay? So I think it's gonna be a good thing to really get deep to understand yourself and your emotions and what is going on and to hopefully feel better about them, okay? But you gotta let yourself go there and you gotta let yourself feel these things, okay, in order for you to be able to understand them better and to move forward on them, all right? I think we're also gonna be doing a lot of thinking about our feelings, about some deep things emotionally, perhaps from the past that are going on, okay, so that we can get on top of these and move forward with them uh, kind of into the future in a way that just works better for us. The only caution that I can really give for today is to just make sure that you don't forget about your feelings, okay? That you don't try to move forward without acknowledging what is going on inside you and what is happening there, okay? That's because we do have the moon in a square with the nodes today, and whenever a planet squares the nodes, we tend to forget about it, okay? It's what I call a skipped step, what astrology calls a skipped step, okay? And we wanna continue to move forward, to be all passionate, and to go forward on this new journey that started at the eclipse last week, and we forget to think Think about what we're feeling inside, what you know is close to our hearts, and what we need emotionally and intuitively to sustain what is going on. And so I think the message, especially 
of today, which may not hit us until a little bit later, is to listen to yourself, okay? Listen to your intuition, listen to your emotions, your feelings, your body, and pay attention to that, okay? When you're trying to do these things that you're trying to do. The moon is also going to be in a square with Mars as well, so as we're trying to move forward and be all passionate and have these big plans and these big adventures we're going on, I think you need to make sure that you bring your heart with you, that you connect emotionally with it, and that you pay attention to all these other things that are going on and all of these feelings, okay? Because you don't wanna burn yourself out uh, if you keep going forward. You don't wanna make some of the wrong decisions because you didn't check with yourself emotionally either, okay? So I think today is just to make sure that you pay attention to your feelings and you bring that into whatever it is you're working on and whatever it is that you're doing so that you're connecting emotionally and you're honoring yourself and your emotions and some feelings that are coming up today, okay? So that's what I see for you. We still have Jupiter in a sextile with Saturn. Lots of opportunities here to make commitments to do something that is good for you, okay? That's there. Mars also conjunct the North Node, so we're wanting to move really fast towards our future, sometimes a little too much, sometimes we're being a little too aggressive about doing things today. Maybe you need to cool it a little bit so you can think more about yourself and what's going on inside you, okay? But there's that going on. Um, Mercury also just came off of the sun, so there was lots of thinking about our life, maybe getting some insights and some realizations about what is going on with our life, about where life is going, and about what we need to do, okay? I think we tried to make a lot of big commitments last week as things were coming up to think very seriously about things. And I think we're coming off of making those commitments and wanting to start to put them more into place and to make them happen, especially when the moon is gonna later in the week be a first quarter moon, okay? So I think we're starting to put them into place after making some of these commitments and I think we're trying to figure out how can we do that in a way that makes sense and a way that honors who we are um, and brings everything together, okay? Just so you're aware, we are about to have Mars and Mercury in a trying with Uranus coming up, okay? Mercury, of course, going retrograde, going to meet with Mars, Mars going forward, gonna meet with Mercury in a trying with Uranus, so there are some more unexpected things that are gonna come up, keep coming up. These, again, are are gonna be from the past and hopefully it's gonna give you a little bit more of an opportunity to take some of these unexpected things to move forward with them in some way but I think right now we're just preparing emotionally to handle what has come and what will come and I think you need to pay attention to that all right now your card for the day I'm gonna go ahead and draw it you'll just hang in there with me that was a little bit slower I'm a little tired so you'll get a little bit slower I'm just trying to walk through my notes so I don't write this down word for word as I'm sure a lot of you can tell so I think that's also why I talk a little fast it's because I'm like I'm gonna forget it all I don't have this written down I just write down the aspects that are going on for the day so that's what's happening there now your card is the nine of swords upright okay this to me indicates that we're worrying about something like we're having trouble sleeping maybe there's something keeping us up at night something about that and i think what this is saying is to just pay attention to <laughs> your dreams okay to your intuitions i know i already said this but to pay attention to the things that are going on inside you that are stirring that are gnawing at you almost and keeping you awake and feeding all your worries and fears i think you need to pay attention to that you need to acknowledge it you need to respect it and you need to understand it okay so that you don't continue to be worried about the same things you don't continue to sabotage yourself perhaps in the same ways that you have sabotaged yourself okay or to do or to sabotage yourself in new ways all right i think you need to go to the root of the cause figure out what is really going on with you okay so that you can start to sleep at night and start to put your mind and your heart at ease okay so that's what I see for you this week this today not even this week that's what I see for you today I hope you have a great day um, let me know how it's going for you if you like my video please like it on YouTube subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and I will talk to you later